As another day begins, these people are gathering for a community meeting. Today, they'll discuss a number of issues and concerns. They have just heard about a young woman being violently abused by her drunken husband. But what can the concerned community do? They want to find out more. So two members of this village-level action group visit the woman in distress. Let's call her Kamala, not her real name. It's never easy to discuss such matters, even with friends. In this case, Kamala didn't even realize she can seek any outside help. After her chat, Kamala doesn't feel so helpless anymore. The next day, accompanied by her community friend, she visits the Batikalo Teaching Hospital. Here, a help desk for gender-based violence has been in operation for some time. First, Kamala receives some counselling. Then the hospital staff will examine her for any physical injuries. Kamala will make more visits over the next few weeks. The hospital staff and volunteers will work with her to slowly heal her body and mind. They'll also keep telling her that she has a right to a violence-free home. The women affected by gender-based violence have different needs. Unless you address those needs, then however much you try to help them emotionally, it won't help. So there are different sectors involved. Depending on their needs, we have to outreach and we have to network. So there is no question about that. Sri Lanka's first help desk for gender-based violence was started at this hospital in 2005. Since then, similar desks have been set up in some other public hospitals in the Batakalo district. This was inspired by a project called Bridge, which has been implemented in Batakalo and Polonarva districts for the past few years. It was a project by Care International Sri Lanka in partnership with state agencies, non-governmental organizations and community groups. Bridge had two broad aims. One was to reduce gender-based violence everywhere. The other was to support the growing number of women who head their own households. Ultimately, it sought to empower women emotionally, socially and economically. The project gave both skills training and livelihood support. It also enhanced awareness about their rights and how they can directly access various government services. The people in these two districts are grappling with many problems, such as widespread poverty, alcohol addiction, domestic violence and child abuse. Under the Bridge Project, the communities were shown ways to tackle these problems together. It strengthened a long tradition of community care and mutual support. Grassroots workers like Kangeshwari were important catalysts in this process. <laughs> Care and its partners use a broad definition of women-headed households. 
They consider all families where a woman is the main breadwinner or key decision maker. This covers not only widows, but also families where the male breadwinner has died, disappeared, become disabled or is separated from the family. All such women were eligible to receive support under the bridge project. Kantamulika Paula Kunahama, Gamtula, Hinsanate Patina Veditatya, Dekapi, Mahatya in the Paula Kata Vedi, Yala, Rekia Katagia, Yanni Vena Fedakatiani with the Heta, Noiku Prasna, Apahasa, Evagi Tatutino, E. Tikam Egolo Samaja, Behela Vedakar and Egolan Tamarui, Arthika Patin Shakti Matnehe, Game Piligani Madui. Bridge supported such women with small grants to start income generating activities or small businesses. Better incomes mean more stability. It also helps improve the women's standing in their communities. The grantees were selected jointly by the community groups working with the government officials and NGO workers. We are in Maguldamana a village in the Polonnaruwa district. When CARE and partners first started working here, the community was beset by many problems, such as a high rate of school dropouts, alcohol addiction, underaged marriages and child abuse. Slowly but surely, the local community was mobilized to find homegrown solutions to these concerns. In three years, the village has been transformed. Kanta Mulka Paulo, Piligani Makalakir, Karanatama, Junopai Marga Sangmardana, Adar Vedasatahana, Gamatula Kriat Makare, Eking Api are a Luku via Parikio, Venik, Neve Balapurutune, Egolangi, Arctic, Dengidrina Makia, Karihoagana, Samaji, Mudalnatunahamat, Piligani Makalakin. Meet Bandara Manike. Some years ago, she lost her husband to a prolonged illness. She had borrowed heavily for his treatment, but he couldn't be saved. Her recovery didn't happen overnight. It took time, resolve, and much effort, plus some outside help. Today, Bandara Manike is an active member of the community, helping many others. අපි මොකුත් නොදන්න මුල්ලකට වෙලා හිටිය කාන්තාව පිරිසක් ඒක අපිට දැන් ඕන තැනක් ඕන වෙලාවක ඕන තැනකට ඉදිරියට යන්න ශක්තිය ධෛර්යය අපිට තියෙනවා කමිටව මෙදු හැත්තෙලා අපි ගොඩක් පවුල් ආරවුල් විසඳලා තියෙනවා අපේ ගම්මානේ මත්පැන් වලින් අංක එකට තිබුණ ගම්මානයක් දැන් නම් සෑහෙන්නේ කඩු වෙලා තියෙනවා ඒ වගේ ගොඩක් අපචාර තිබුණු ගම්මානයක් දැන් ඒ ක්‍රියාකාරී කමිටුවේ තියෙන නිසා ගොඩක් අය ඒ වෙන් දුරස් වෙලා ඉන්නවා then, family petty at the then name poor at the then family